This is Adagio, which is a 57-foot semi-traditional style narrowboat. Uh, you can see it has a pram hood over the semi-trad cockpit at the back, which gives you additional dry space and protection from wet weather. Also, a couple of upholstered seats make it comfortable when you're out cruising. Steelwork is by Heron Boat Builders, and uh, so is the interior. They were trading up until about 2005, so this is one of the last they built, and they have sort of distinctive style Joshua type bow on them as well. Coming inside the semi trad stern, you can see you've got lockers on either side, and beneath that floor there is the Izutsu 42 horsepower engine. Twin alternator, 70 amp and uh, 110 amp, I believe, and also landline hookup too. There's a control panel for the engine. It's reverse layout, this boat. And that's a VHF radio set, by the way, which comes with the boat, but you will need a radio operator's license uh, in order to use it officially anyway. Dropping down through the double doors into the interior of the boat, and here's the electrical cupboard. That's a four-step Sterling Marine charger up there, 30 amp charger. And you've got a decent sort of hanging wet locker utility cupboard here. Uh, in <clears throat> one of the cupboards which are tucked away behind the stairs, you need to move the stairs to get into it, is also a three kilowatt inverter by Victron. So it starts with the galley at the stern. You've got gas cooking as you can see. And also twin sinks, all mounted into uh, laminate worktops with hard-edged uh, wood trim. Reasonable amount of storage in here as well. And then Next up is a dinette. The radiator, by the way, that you can see there on the right, and one further down. Uh, three in all, plus a towel rail, powered by an Aldi uh, gas boiler, which makes a very useful backup to the solid fuel stove in the saloon that we'll see in a minute. So this dinette breaks down, as they usually do, into a guest double berth. You have storage underneath it, under both the seats. And then beyond this, you have the saloon area. It's got a built-in L-shaped settee. Here's the multi-fuel stove. This is sort of sensibly placed pretty much in the centre of the boat, so you're going to get a good, decent spread of heat in either direction. And then a walk-through bathroom area. This has a shower. Over a three-quarter length bath, and uh, it's just to show you see how to shut off the bathroom. You have a door like this at either end, by the way. Shower over the bath. There's a cassette WC there. That's for emergencies, I guess. There is the pump-out one. It's a macerator, electric flush. And you have a, a basin set into a cupboard unit here. All the wood finishes in here are an oak faced ply. And beyond this, we come into the bedroom area. It's a cross bed. Those two boards simply slide and slot in very easily. And you have a mattress infill. You're just going like so. Well, <laughs> when you're doing it one-handed with one hand and holding a video camera in another, it's not quite so easy. But there you go. Good size wardrobe here as well.
bedside cupboard and drawer and some shelving on this side as well steps leading up to the stern you've got storage within these and behind it you can see there is a further storage cupboard that will also give you access to the water pump and the stainless steel water tank too so out through double doors and this is the bow area the well deck you have lockers on both sides and a glazed cratch board that you can see and finally here is a picture of the bed made up to its full size four foot six width about six foot two in length so for a full color brochure a photo gallery and a layout plan do go to rugbyboats.co.uk